More fun than movies, this is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Check out the playlist for a different video. Subscriptions are a big boost. Tempest is our opportunity to carve out a new space and give people things that they haven't seen before, but which also feel iconic. Our first early play tests were definitely super exciting. From a gameplay idea, it was very different than our other classes. It's a very unique take on a new class for Diablo Immortal. Everyone can kind of see that this was going to be a really fun class. The development was kind of like we had to step back and look at where our characters sat on sort of the graph of like their play style, the combat style, what kind of tone they are as well. When we started on the path that would become the Tempest, we had just finished most of the initial development for the Blood Knight. And that was a very, very dark toned class, you know, a lot of blood and violence and impaling people and et cetera. And so there was, I think, an initial desire from the team to do something that was a bit more on the light tone side. And so this was something that was a little bit more flowing and slender and agile, and that felt like a good counterbalance to the heavy armor wielding Blood Knight. We work very closely with narratives. It's like playing tennis. We're passing the ball to each other and then building upon each other's ideas until it eventually becomes what the Tempest is today. Once we have a face, for the first time, we have a person that we can relate with on a much more personal level. That's when the expressions come, that's when the personality comes, and then everything sort of started flowing from there. You want this to be a person who is the calm in the eye of the hurricane, that they wield all of the fury of the wind and waves, but they come from this background that necessitates that they are pure of heart, noble of mind, resolute, devoted to others, pro-social, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The Tempest is an exile. They are someone who has been forced to leave their home and come to the mainland. They are someone heroic who has been removed from their environment, not by their own choice. The Cold Isles, as they're known to outsiders, or Pelgain, as they're known to locals, are a series of islands that are the heart of an empire that has seen better days. It was once a glorious empire that spanned from Shansai to north of Ariat and has now sort of fallen to ruin as a result of this ongoing ecological disaster. They have this great power and they need something to do with it. If you're going to name a class the Tempest, there has to be a certain amount of whirling chaos. There has to be a certain amount of explosive fury. If someone just looks at the silhouette of this character, what are they expecting to see? They see a dual blade wielder decked out in teal or turquoise armor. How do they expect that person to move? How do they expect that person to act? When we first create a brand new class, kind of think of like what cool abilities really accentuate the fiction of the class. We knew that we wanted them to be masters of uh, water and wind, but how can we put that into a play style? As system designers, we need to try and figure out how to realize that into actual gameplay. I describe the Tempest as kind of a magic assassin. We dialed in on its attacks. We wanted it to be focused on wind and water. And from there, that, that inspired a lot of the gameplay. The Tempest wields a wind edge and a water edge. And these are daggers, but they're daggers that serve as focuses for the elemental power that they wield. Being able to swing the daggers around on lines of water was something that was a crazy idea if you think about it. But once you saw it in game, it looks so natural. They have this non-traditional kind of mobility. It's a really compelling sort of pinballing around or flowing across, if you will, the battlefield kind of play experience. Everything we do on Diablo Immortal is in the interest of bridging the gap between all of our other titles and making the universe feel more cohesive and real. And I think that with Tempest especially, we've done a really good job at that, making this feel like a place that the players will be excited to explore more. Certainly in fantasy games, there have been classes like this, but not exactly this. I have no doubt that the Tempest class is going to be an iconic Diablo character for years to come.